believe that October is almost over? It's so crazy. Fall is in full effect, even though it does not feel like that so much in LA. And it also means I'm getting pretty close to having a baby. So that's a whole nother topic for another video. In the meantime, let's get into it. I've got a lot of fun favorites this month, so let's get started. handle the no sushi, the no alcohol, the no lunch meat while I've been pregnant. But one thing I have been missing so much is shopping. I need to shop. I feel like I can't really shop for anything other than shoes. So luckily I found some super freaking cute shoes. How adorable are these? I'm obsessed with these right now. They're from J. Crew. They are little flats. They're kind of like a ballerina flat, but what I love about them is they have a pointy toe. I think a pointy toe just makes your whole look look just a little bit more sophisticated than your regular rounded ballet flat. They're a little bit of an investment. I think they're like 135 bucks a pair, but I'm telling you, they'll last forever and they'll go with everything. So I'm very excited about this purchase and it really kind of helped, <laughs> you know, quench my thirst for some shopping. I'm obsessed with these flats and think that every woman should own a really great pair of pointy, chic flats. All right guys, I am about nine months pregnant now. By the end of the day, my back is killing me. So I have been living in Epsom salt baths with lavender oil. Now, Epsom salt is amazing because it is a soaking aid, which I don't really even know what that means. It's magnesium sulfate. Great for gardening. Um, yes, so it's really, really good at kind of soaking away those aches and pains, but to take this bath to the next level, I like to throw in a couple of dabs of this lavender essential oil, and it really is just relaxing. It's so, I don't know, it feels fabulous. It feels like I'm in a spa, and then of course, this stuff is like 10 bucks for a giant bag, which lasts me months, and this is about five bucks. I got it from Amazon super inexpensive, and you can get any kind of oil you like. So if you prefer patchouli, or eucalyptus, or lemon, whatever floats your boat, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this in your bath will change your life. All right, earlier in the video, I said that I really miss shopping for clothes, and that is very true. But I did happen to buy one item of clothing that I can actually fit into and I couldn't resist because when I saw it, it was so freaking cute. And really, it's a sweatshirt. But how cute is this? It says, mom life is the best life. Now I don't know if that's true yet. I'll find out in a few weeks if that is actually true. But this is the most comfortable sweatshirt I think I've ever owned in my life. And it is from, um, I, okay, so I always mess this up. It's either Illy Couture, I guess could stand for I love you Couture. I really have no idea how they pronounce it or what the proper way is to say it, but all the information's on the screen. And they have just really cute stuff. They have lots of really cute graphic t-shirts and sunglasses. I'm just obsessed with this. I feel like this is so cute on a fall day with some little J. Crew flats. See what I did there? My next favorite has to do with the house. So since we've moved in, I've been trying to get the house ready, decorating as much as possible, but it's been really hard. I've been so, so busy, and I haven't been able to do as much shopping for the house as I want. You should see the nursery, or lack thereof. The good news is, I found dining room chairs, which I've been looking for forever, and I am obsessed with these chairs because they are so chic, they're a really, really classic design, and actually have a little bit of a famous history. All right, let me break down these chairs for you. They are called the Wishbone Chair, and they were originally designed by a dude named Hans J. Wagner. They were designed in the 1950s, and they are an iconic, iconic chair. The originals sell for close to $1,000. Well, I am not spending $1,000 on dining room chairs. Absolutely not. So I found the knockoff, or as I like to call, the replica. I think they were like 140 bucks, and I got them at a really great website called Lexmod. And I got them in black, and I'm actually sitting in one now. And I just am obsessed with these chairs. I'm so excited to have my whole family here for Thanksgiving, and now they actually have a place to sit. 
and a pretty fabulous place to sit, if I do say so myself. So last, but certainly not least, I am determined to bring back a trend that maybe hasn't been so cool or hip for a long, long time. It's the fanny pack. But this is a new spin on the fanny pack. And if you've been watching Fab Life Show, check your local listing, all the information's below, you would know that fanny packs are making a huge comeback, but they are very chic versions of the old funky neon ones. Now, I actually made this one myself, and it's so super easy. I just had this old little clutch and an old vintage belt, put them together, Voila, ladies, you know how it is to carry around a purse. And very soon, I'm gonna be carrying around a child. So who wants to carry around a purse? This was such an easy DIY, and I'm obsessed with the way it turned out. It's so chic, and you can get the full tutorial on Fab Life Show's YouTube. So make sure to check that out and make your own. If you make your own, take a picture of it, upload it to Twitter or Instagram, and tag me in it. I wanna see it. And by the way, this whole thing costs me five bucks to make, that's pretty fab. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my favorites and I hope I inspired you to do a little shopping for yourself. <laughs> I will keep you guys posted on the arrival of Baby Finn, which is happening in, gosh, like two to maybe three weeks. Oh my God, I'm getting so scared. Um, but until then, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.